Hey everyone and welcome back! After I reviewed the Microtech Cap AX, I've been running it for about 4 months. I think that it's enough time to share my thoughts about this access point with you. So, in this video, I'll share everything that I found out about this access point over the last 4 months. So let's get started! Let's start with the range. In my experience, the range of the Microtech Cap AX is very good on the 2.4 GHz band and the 5 GHz band is not bad either. But the 5 GHz band has a very small wavelength, meaning that it's faster but also unable to penetrate through walls very easily. The 2.4 GHz band can easily cover a medium to large European brick house with two floors and 120 square meters each, and also the garden, garage, etc., while the 5 GHz band can only cover about one floor before losing signal. Note that the signal and coverage also depends on your device type. For example, an antenna in a laptop may be stronger than an antenna in your phone. Another question you may ask is what speeds can you expect? For the speed test, I chose Hyper 3 and I also tested Windows file transfer via a 5 GHz connection. With Hyper 3 and the direct line of sight between the computer and the cap, I was able to get about 380 megabits download and upload on the 5 GHz band and 170 megabits download and upload on the 2.4 GHz band. Windows file transfer was not bad either, coming in at around 110 megabytes a second. Overall, the speeds aren't bad for most tasks, like web browsing, gaming and media streaming. The electricity consumption is not bad either. It's about 7.4 watts at idle with the official power adapter and PoE injector. One other thing I noticed was that the cap runs a bit hot even at idle. It doesn't impact the performance and if you have it, have it on the ceiling you won't notice it, but the plastic cover can heat up to 40 degrees Celsius. If you want to buy this access point and plan to use it with your older infrastructure, be aware that it uses Microtech's new Wi-Fi Wave 2 package instead of the older Capsman, which means that this access point is not compatible with any of Microtech's older devices built on the MEBSB architecture. When I set up this cap about four months ago, I was troubleshooting this exact thing with my CRS109 not working with the cap AX. If you want to manage this access point and you have an older device which isn't based on the MIPSB architecture, you can download the Wi-Fi Wave 2 package from Microtech's website. Note that this will also cause the Capsman system to be inoperable as you can only have one running at a time. Other than the Wi-Fi Wave 2 hassle, I've never experienced problems with the Cap AX and it's been solid. Overall, this access point is great for businesses and larger homes which need good coverage of a large area. It is a modern looking but a bit larger device with a diameter of 22.5 cm and a weight of 602 grams. It has a lot of great features such as PoE out for powering another PoE device without using another switch port. If you want more details about this access point, I made a video about it, which you can find right here. And that's all for today's one. If you have any questions, as always, be sure to leave a comment or join my Discord server, link for which is down in the description. If you liked the video, be sure to hit the like button and also consider subscribing. It really helps out. With all that being said, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.